what's going on? Vitaly Dubin is here with day number 39 of my daily inspirational show for home business entrepreneurs. Where my goal is to inspire you, to learn, to grow, and to succeed, and give you some ideas to help you move a little bit closer to living your dream life. And today I want to talk to you about how to eliminate procrastination once and for all in your life. How to get more stuff done. How to take more of the right actions consistently to achieve your goals and dreams faster than you ever thought possible and have 2015 your best year ever. So let's start off by understanding what procrastination really is. Procrastination is sitting on the sidelines and not taking the right action that you know you should be taking. Procrastination is a voluntarily needless delay of an intended action despite the knowledge that it might harm you, harm your performance and how you feel about yourself. And you have to understand that at the end of the day, procrastination comes with a very severe price. Procrastination damages your self-belief, it damages your self-confidence, it damages in your ability to believe in yourself and your sense of self-worth. And you feel crappy about yourself at the end of the day and you feel kind of a regretful because you know that you can, could have done much more today. You could have contributed much more today that what, and, and you could have shown up much more today than you have shown up before. So, What's going on here? A lot of experts may say that you know procrastination is because of this perfectionism issue. You know, it, it, your 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 sense of it has to be perfect in order to, to you, you to do something, or the need of, of approval, or your fear of failure. But all of those are really just symptoms and not the causes. Okay, so what's happening is we have a way to use stress in order to get motivated to do something. And we create crises for ourselves, and we, like, like something bad has to happen in order for us to feel you know, the pull to do something. Kind of like in the in United States, the 15th of April, everybody you know, is, is freaking out about this, uh, uh, the, the reporting of the taxes, right? And they are cramming, trying to do all of that in the last minute. Or the student who is preparing for an exam and has a deadline in a, in a couple of days and now he's cramming for this test. Right? So that's what happened. The stress level goes up and you feel motivated to do it. But when the stress level goes down, you no longer feel motivated to do it. And that's not a way to create momentum in your business, all right? For lifelong momentum. And you know, it really all comes down from, from a sense of fear. And if you are motivated from a sense of fear, from bad things to happen to you, this that's a really shitty place to live. And in the long term, it's not going to uh, you're, not, you're not going to be proud of yourself and feel good about yourself if you're just motivated by the sense of fear. So what happens is when you're faced with a task that you know you should be doing right now, and what happens a lot of times is we create those friction. You, you, have, you feel this resistance. You, have, you feel this friction that you know, internally you might say to yourself, well, I'm not in the right mood to do it right now. I'm not ready to do it right now. I don't have the, all the knowledge right now to, to do it. I don't have the skills, I don't have the resources, and it, I, I don't know what the next step is. So you come up with all of those sort of excuses to avoid doing what you know you should be doing. And you, instead of, to, to fill this void, what, what, what uh, a lot of people do is create this, this meaningless tasks for, the st uh, for themselves to take up their time and feel, them, feel like they're doing something. Like, well, I need to clear, up, clear the garage right now. I need to clear up my desk right now. Or I need to call my grandma or do my shopping. And it's a, it's a way to feel good about ourselves, about doing something. But at the end of the day, we don't feel really good about uh, ourselves because we are not achieving our goals and our dreams. Okay? So that's not a way to do it. So how, how we can overcome procrastination? Because, you know, I'm talking to you as much as I'm talking to myself because, you know, I, I've been procrastinating on a lot of stuff and I know I could have done more, I could have achieved more, uh, and, and that's why, you know, I'm talking about this right now. It's very, very important and I want you to have 2015 your best year ever. So what's the solution and what's the problem? The problem is you have a faulty motivation strategy. You are being motivated by, by move, moving away from the pain, by moving away from the fear. And we need to start 
get much more motivated by the pleasure, by our goals, by our dreams. And we need to strengthen our goals. And it all starts with you really getting very, very clear on what exactly do you want? What is your goal? What is your dream? And can you clearly see it in your own mind? Can you picture it? Can you visualize it? Can you feel it? Can you sense it? Can you make it real right now as though it's happening right now? Can you really internalize it? And if you do that, you'll feel much more pulled towards your goals and your dreams. And you will be more motivated to do what is necessary to achieve your goals and dreams. It, it, it will not come from a sense of fear, from a sense of I must do it, I should do it, or I ought to do it. And you'll start using the words like, I will do it. I intend to do it. Okay, because I want to do it. I will do it and I'll get it. So, in order for you and me, to overcome procrastination once and for all and start getting more stuff done, we need to start uh, strengthening our intention muscles. Okay, We need to set intentions of what it is that we want to do and then, you know, just go and get the intention, you know, feel for, the, before you take the task, set an intention, this is what I'm going to do, this is what I'm going to do, when I'm going to do it, and where I'm going to do it, see it in your, in your mind's eyes, set the intention, and then go after it, get it, get the intention, okay, and then evaluate yourself that if you have done it or not, and, you know, at the end of the day, set the intention for the day, and see, at the end of the day, if you have done what you have intended to do throughout the day. And if you did, then celebrate it. Celebrate it. In some, in some way that you will find meaningful to you, but celebrate it because it releases some, some good feelings in our brain. It, it actually creates the habit of you setting up intentions and going after it and get it. So this is the solution. This is how you overcome procrastination once and for all. You need to be more motivated towards your goals and dreams. You need to be much more clearer of what are those few goals, few things that if you accomplish those in 2015, more be, I mean, your whole life is going to change, right? And why it would change. And see it clearly. See it clearly in your mind's eye. Visualize it. Feel it. Make it real, make it bigger for you, okay? Focus on that. And then set the intention for the day. And then set the intention for the week. And set the intention for the months. And set the intention for the year of what it is that you want to do. And then throughout the day, when you go throughout the day and facing the task that you know you should do, set the intention. Today I'm going to do it and then go and get it. Go and get it. And be motivated not from a sense of fear, but from a sense of I want it. I get it, this is my life, this is what I want, this is my goal, this is my dream, and I'm going after it, okay? So I hope that it helped you understand what procrastination is, why you have procrastinated maybe in the past, and how you can overcome this, and how you can get more motivated towards what you want, and go and get it, all right? And if you want to dive deeper into this, I recommend that you listen to an audio that I include there on, uh, on the blog post be uh, below this video on uh, Rich Sheffron is talking about this issue much deeper on how to, how to overcome procrastination so you'll understand much more, you know, how to do it. Okay, so it's been Vitaly Dubinin with my daily inspirational show. And always remember to dream bigger and think bigger and play even bigger. I'll talk to you tomorrow.